How's it going you guys? I'm Landon and we get to do this all over again. This is a new top 10 list. If you guys are enjoying these videos, hit that like button. It really keeps me motivated and it tells me you guys like the videos. And also subscribe. That way as soon as I make videos, you guys will be notified right away. So let me start off asking you guys, where are you from? I'll go first. I'm from Toronto, Canada. So getting right into it, this is the top 10 creepiest things found on Google Earth. At number 10, we have this image right here that was posted onto Reddit. These black guys were seen on the porch pointing a big gun at Google vehicles as it drove by. After for capturing these images they need for Google Earth. Google has since blurred out the gun, but a Reddit user was able to screenshot this image before it became censored. What's even more disturbing was a 17 month old girl was found dead at the same house in an earlier picture that was taken by Google Earth. In at number nine, this image is a little hard to see, but if you guys see in the forest, okay, let me zoom in a little bit. You can see that this guy's wearing a gas mask. I mean, is this real life right now? What is about to happen? If I was Google, I would definitely get the police to investigate this in order to determine if this guy's gonna like throw some gas or smoke bombs or I don't know. In at number eight, this image is gonna creep you out. So here's the image. These are normal looking cars on the road, right? If you zoom in right about there over to the left, this little girl appears to be dead. Well, there was an investigation done after this image was seen online, and it appeared that the girl, she wasn't actually dead. She was pretending to be dead. And the reason why she was pretending to be dead is because she wanted to not go to school. So if she was dead, she doesn't have to go to school. But what's the chances of that picture being taken at that exact moment? And I'm not sure what the educational system is like in this town. But I mean, there are better ways to get out of school. All right, at number seven, we have this image right here. I mean, what the heck is going on? Hold on. Is this an alien on the balcony? This thing just came from Mars? It's about to go for a bike ride. Well, Google took note of this image and said, you know what? We can't have people believing that there's aliens on Earth. So we're actually going to blow blur out this image, which makes me more believe that this is a truly an alien. But I mean, is this creepy or what? If I was Google, I would probably remove this next image. And this image I'm talking about comes in to number. Is this a cow that is injured or, you know, is trying to drag itself across the road to the other side? It's almost like the Google Earth vehicle hit this cow. There was even another image on Google Earth of a donkey being seen frame by frame tipping over. And I mean, that has to have been Google hitting the donkey and the Google Earth vehicle is driving away and the donkey is just like tipping over and it just died. What the heck is going on? Is Google vehicles killing animals? We have to put a stop to this now. Moving into number five, we have potentially a murder scene. This is the image right here. It's an overlooking view of the dock, and if you can look closely, there's a trail of blood at the end of the dock, and it looks like someone is dragging a body that is just totally bleeding out. But upon investigation, it turned out that the trail of blood was actually just water. It was a dog holding a stick that came out of the water. But for some reason, the water just looked red, and the stick looked like someone was dragging a body. Now we have a killer on the loose. Take a look at this image right here. This is a person who looks like they're gonna kill the driver of Google vehicle. Google probably feared for their lives in at number four. I mean, what is this guy doing? But we will never know and we're never gonna find out this guy's identity. Now I know Japan is known for their futuristic technologies, but this image right here, I don't know how to explain it, but this comes in to number three. This image was taken in Japan and are those birds or are they people? I'm so confused. Who does this? Imagine walking down the road and you see this right here. If I saw that, I'd probably cross the street and like just run for my life and just hope I don't have any bird seeds or anything like bird food in my pocket or on me. Okay, so more randomness happens in at number two. What you're looking at right now is a guy in a wolf costume, some guy who looks like Freddy Krueger, the character from Scream, and the fourth one, I have no idea. Who do you guys think that is? And they appear to be looking right at the camera. I'm not sure if something happened or if something is about to happen, but it looks like that being the Google driver, it's a serious job. Finally, in at number one, I'm pretty sure this is the aftermath of something that went horribly wrong, but Google has blurred out this car in this picture, but they haven't blurred out all these dead bodies found in a recycling bin. And I like how they're in the recycling bin instead of the garbage as if the killer wants the bodies to be reused. After investigating, this actually just ended up not being a murder scene. These bodies turned out to be full-size mannequins. And I'm not really sure who does that. I mean, just put them in a bag because that, it doesn't look like it's something a good situation happening. Well, there you guys have it. That was the top 10 creepiest Google Earth images. Let me know what you guys thought. Which one did you guys think was the creepiest? That's it for me in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. So let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comment section below and also should I do a part two of this video because I've seen a lot more craziness on Google Earth Maps. And it's funny how they like blur out all these images instead of just like retaking it or getting someone good at Photoshop and just Photoshopping it out. But if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button and also subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos for you guys, so stay tuned. Okay, bye.